Orlando might be the place you've chosen to vacation. But that doesn't mean you can't look for fun in Central Florida outside the theme park bubble. In fact, on this channel, we think exploring our area's smaller towns is mandatory when you're here. It's the best way to experience genuine Florida. Places with a rich heritage while at the same time supporting local businesses. A short drive on I-4 between Orlando and Tampa is the city of Lakeland. The largest city in Polk County, Lakeland, is known for, not surprisingly, its abundance of lakes. 38 named lakes to be exact within the city limits, with a number of smaller lakes without an identity. Some of the best things to do in Lakeland can be found near those many lakes. In this video, we're going to share with you seven reasons why Lakeland is the perfect day trip from Orlando. From an eclectic outdoor space specializing in beignets and a modern food hall with something yummy for every kind of palate, to where you can find and purchase authentic props from the Disney theme parks and the campus that's home to the largest collection of buildings designed by one of the greatest architects to ever live. All of that and so much more straight ahead from Central Florida. There's no better way to start your visit to Lakeland than this hip oasis that's always Instagram ready. Gates are open at the Poor Porker every weekend where you can step up to this booth and order up a bag of beignets. We opted for the traditional covered in powdered sugar for seven bucks. As you'd expect, they were light and airy and so delicious. Of course, I did the one thing you should never do when you're going to eat a powdered beignet. Light colors for sure the next time. You can also get your beignets covered in maple syrup and bacon, cinnamon sugar, or Nutella. Skip buying the modern plastic junk at the theme park gift shops. The best souvenirs from your trip to the Orlando area can be found here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. If you're a Disney or theme park fanatic, wait until you see the inside of this place. More than 250 vendors fill this 44,000 square foot collector's paradise just off busy I-4. The booths here are unlike many antique malls you'll find in Central Florida. They feature over-the-top finds with a heavy emphasis on 20th century pop culture. This giant skunk came from the defunct Storyland Amusement Park in Marietta, Georgia that closed in the 1970s. While he's definitely seen some better days, this Ronald McDonald head topped a 1970s balloon tank. I especially liked this vintage Chinese lion head used in a parade and was tempted by some of the old signage. Have a pirate-themed man cave or in search of a kiss mannequin? There are some really unique items here and others that are downright scary. This is the same antique mall you might have heard about that has authentic props used at Disney World and other theme parks. At the back of the building is Vault Collectibles, one of the few vendors to whom Disney sells authentic props from their parks and resorts. Tables, chairs, and lamps from the Grand Floridian and Polynesian, large cutouts used during Star Wars weekends, banners from the Wine and Dine half marathons. The really vintage Disney items were pretty impressive to see up close, but if you're looking to buy, bring lots of money, most of the stuff does not come cheap.
built in 1957 and soaring 70 feet into the air is the Southgate Shopping Center Arch. The space age symbol of Lakeland was made famous in the 1990 Johnny Depp film Edward Scissorhands. Today, the arch is a local pop culture icon, appearing on everything from canvas prints to t-shirts. You might be surprised to learn that Lakeland is home to the largest collection of Frank Lloyd Wright buildings in the world. That's right, the famed 20th century architect designed 13 structures on the campus of Florida Southern College overlooking Lake Hollingsworth, including two chapels and the Water Dome. It was dubbed by Wright himself as the first uniquely American campus. A variety of tours are available that give architecture buffs or casual Wright fans an inside look at these inspiring buildings. Downtown Lakeland's Modern Artisan Food Hall is located on the north side of Lake Mirror. Opened in 2020, the joinery is a stylish place where foodies and families can choose from over a half dozen eateries. Something for every taste bud here, from small gourmet plates and sushi to pizza, burgers, and our personal favorite, Northeast Florida's very own Mayday Ice Cream, some of the best homemade ice cream you'll ever have. There's room inside to seat more than 100 people with additional seating on patios around the building. We really enjoyed sitting out back where we could watch the trains come and go. Occupying 3,500 square feet in downtown's historic old theater is Scout and Tag. Half of this brick and mortar is devoted to Lakeland-made organic natural products for bath, body, and home. While the other side features an eclectic blend of vintage, mid-century, and industrial furnishings. The garden room features a variety of indoor plants, while another has t-shirts and other items celebrating the city's rich heritage. Scout & Tag also stocks Annie Sloan chalk paint and offers classes monthly. For nearly a century, swans have called the waters around downtown Lakeland home. It may be hard to believe the current swan population at Lake Morton has ties to Queen Elizabeth's royal flock. In the early 1950s, a Lakeland resident residing in the UK wrote a letter to the Queen of England. The ask from this Lakelander, would the Queen be kind enough to donate a pair of swans to her home city back in Florida? Queen Elizabeth later sent notice that a couple of royal swans from her flock would be headed to the community. They arrived in 1957, and swans have been a fixture at Lake Morton ever since. Lakeland proudly embraces the moniker Swan City. Also located in the heart of downtown is Lake Mirror and its historic promenade dedicated to Lakeland's number one sweetheart, Frances Langford. The star of radio, film, and television was widely known for her work entertaining America's troops stationed overseas. Today, this is a popular gathering spot for the whole community and a scenic place to burn a few calories on the walkway that goes around the water. Hollis Garden can be found on the southern bank of Lake Muir and features a variety of plants and koi fish ponds in a neoclassical setting perfect for photographers. That's it. Seven reasons why Lakeland is the perfect day trip from Orlando. What is your favorite thing to do in Lakeland? Let us know in the comments. We always love hearing from you. A complete guide to everything mentioned in this video can be found at our website. We have a link in the description. Stay updated with our latest content by subscribing to the channel. It's free and activate the notification bell so you know when new tips and guides are released. As always, thank you for watching. From Lakeland, Florida, see you next time.